excited to be here today to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is how to prioritize your week. So I speak with a lot of our customers and even internal teams about what should be the order of operations I work through that's gonna give me the best chance of creating the most opportunities. So let's get into it. Uh, number one is gonna be your act immediately bucket. So this is any kind of demo or contact requests or maybe email opens or responses you've gotten or uh, the same thing from LinkedIn, maybe a response to a post or an in-mail, anything like that. And also um, alerts from your, your website that would indicate someone is active, ready to talk. Uh, always prioritize your act immediately first. Next is gonna be your MQLs. And I would say these aren't just any MQLs. The way I would think about MQLs is they have both a strong fit from a company and persona level, but they're also doing next level engagement. It's not just a single marketing campaign. It is a series of recent campaigns showing these are definitely marketing qualified leads. So take that scoring to the next level with your MQLs. Next is gonna be your MQA bucket, which are marketing qualified accounts. Now, these accounts typically will have, you know, several people at a company engaging with similar topics that are, that are semi-recent, let's call it within 30 days. If all of, you, you have multiple different contacts researching the same types of topics, there's some level of interest there. Explore it, figure out what that interest is. More likely than not, they're doing that research for a reason, figure out what it is. Next, we want to do high value web page visits. So if people are making it past your homepage and they're getting on to things like a pricing page or a demo page or even case study pages of how you work with your customers. These are all people doing research, trying to understand more about how they could work with you. Immediately jump on these. These are great uh, possible targets for you. Next would be uh, high value intent. So probably a little bit more in the beginning stages of research, but if they're looking at multiple keywords that relate to your product or service, or are looking at your competitors, there's likely research being done or, or an, an evaluation on the horizon. We wanna make sure that we're getting in front of these accounts early and often. Um, next, we wanna make sure we're working through any priority marketing uh, inquiries through the week. So, you know, I would always prioritize those based on who is the persona? Do they have the right predictive score and, and do like highest predictive score to lowest and work through that list? Um, next, as salespeople, this one is a little bit near and dear to us, but we all have opportunities that we thought were hot and, you know, for, for one reason or another, they had to close. A lot of times that's due to timing or it just wasn't, it just wasn't right for them or that person at that time. But if you can see that a closed lost opportunity, maybe they're over 90 days old and they're starting to re-engage and show a lot of engagement on the topics that you were talking about with them in the past, these are great signs that the evaluation is back on and you should pick up, you know, reach out to, to your contacts there and get that opportunity back in line. And then, you know, spend the rest of your week kind of nurturing your top tier accounts. As sales and marketing leaders, you know, people will usually have tiers one through three, tiers one through five, with tier one being like the top of the top target account list. So even though these might not be as engaged, it's our job as sellers to nurture them along and generate that interest. So start with your tier one, tier two, work through all the buyer personas, start messaging them, understanding what the interest is so that they can eventually be bucketed up into your top tier priority lists. And there you have it. That's how I would prioritize my week. Hope it was helpful. Thanks.